Let's throw it back to the days of Isaac Newton. Newton's laws were revolutionary, but they were based on the idea of absolute time and space. He also stuck to Galileo Galilei's principle of relativity for mechanical systems. Essentially, this meant that all observers in motion were on equal footing. No one had a better perspective than anyone else when it came to the laws of mechanics. But here's where things get tricky. In the 19th century, scientists believed light traveled through something called the luminiferous ether. This was supposed to be a medium that carried light waves, much like water carries sound waves. James Clerk Maxwell's work even seemed to support this idea. According to his theory, light and electromagnetic phenomena needed this ether to propagate. However, every experiment designed to detect this mysterious ether came up empty. Enter Hendrik Lorentz in 1892. He proposed that objects might contract and time might change locally as they moved through this ether, trying to keep Maxwell's equations intact across all inertial frames of reference. Henri Poincaré took it a step further. In 1905, he refined Lorentz's transformations, forming what we now call the Lorentz transformation. Now comes the pivotal moment that changed everything, Albert Einstein's groundbreaking paper in 1905. In this revolutionary work, Einstein fundamentally altered our understanding of space and time. Unlike his predecessors, he discarded the need for an absolute stationary space like the ether. Instead, he introduced two key principles, the principle of relativity and the principle of the constancy of light. These principles were informed by previous theories, particularly Lorentz's electrodynamics, which described light's constant speed in the ether. However, Experiments like the Fizeau and Michelson-Morley experiments had already challenged the ether concept, leading to contradictions that Einstein resolved by discarding the ether entirely. Einstein's approach was revolutionary because he did away with the auxiliary hypotheses that Lawrence and Poincaré relied on, such as the contraction hypothesis and local time. He directly concluded that the speed of light is constant in all inertial frames and that the principle of relativity holds true this allowed him to derive results, including the relativistic Doppler effect and relativistic aberration, more straightforwardly than his predecessors who spent years developing similar theories. One of Einstein's most famous contributions from this work was the mass-energy equivalence formula, E equal sign mc squared. This formula indicated that energy and mass are interchangeable, a concept that Einstein believed was crucial as it showed that even at rest, a particle possesses energy. The early reception of Einstein's theory was mixed. Walter Kaufmann's experiments initially seemed to contradict special relativity, but later work by Max Planck and others confirmed its validity. The term theory of relativity gained popularity through the works of Planck and Alfred Bucherer, among others. German physicists, including Sommerfeld, Wien, Born and Ehrenfest, quickly adopted and expanded upon Einstein's ideas. Further experiments, such as those by Bucherer and Neumann, confirmed the Lorentz-Einstein theory and refuted alternative models. These experiments demonstrated the relativistic increase in mass and validated the theoretical predictions of special relativity. In terms of theoretical advancements, Max Planck refined the concept of relativistic mass and momentum. He provided corrected values for longitudinal and transverse mass, aligning them with Lorentz's earlier work. Gilbert Lewis and Richard Tolman further developed the concept, leading to the modern understanding of mass as an invariant quantity in special relativity. Einstein's contributions also extended to resolving the apparent contradictions between the principle of relativity and the constancy of light speed. He recognized that Lorentz's local time could be understood as actual time, connected to signal velocity. This interpretation was similar to Poincare's, but without the need for a stationary ether. The development of space-time physics saw significant contributions from Hermann Minkowski, who geometrically interpreted the Lorentz transformations and introduced the concept of space-time. Minkowski's work provided a framework that showed the completeness and internal consistency of special relativity, influencing Einstein's later work on general relativity. Experiments like the Fizeau experiment and the Sagnac effect, as well as theoretical derivations of the relativity of simultaneity, further solidified the principles of special relativity. 
These developments demonstrated the independence of light speed from the source's velocity and the consistency of relativistic effects across various contexts. Now that we've explored the fascinating history of special relativity, let's delve deeper into a crucial aspect that played a significant role in its development, the ether and the electrodynamics of moving bodies. In the late 19th century, the concept of ether was widely accepted as the medium through which light waves propagated. This mysterious substance was thought to be an all-pervading entity, filling the universe and acting as the carrier of electromagnetic waves, much like air carries sound. However, the electrodynamics of moving bodies, as described by Maxwell's equations, posed significant challenges to this theory. According to these equations, the speed of light should remain constant, but how could this be reconciled with the motion of the Earth through the supposed ether? Several experiments were conducted to detect the presence of ether, the most notable being the Michelson-Morley experiment in 1887. This experiment aimed to measure the relative motion of matter through the stationary luminiferous ether, using an interferometer to detect differences in the speed of light in perpendicular directions. Surprisingly, the results showed no significant difference, leading to the conclusion that the ether did not exist. This puzzling outcome led scientists to question the very foundation of the ether theory. Enter Hendrik Lorentz, who proposed that objects might contract and time might change locally as they moved through this ether. This idea was an attempt to keep Maxwell's equations intact across all inertial frames of reference. Henri Poincar further refined Lorentz's transformations, forming the basis of what we now call the Lorentz transformations. These mathematical tools were crucial in addressing the inconsistencies posed by the ether theory. However, the final breakthrough came in 1905, when Albert Einstein published his groundbreaking paper on special relativity. Einstein boldly discarded the ether entirely, proposing that space and time were not separate entities but were intertwined in a four-dimensional construct. This radical idea suggested that the laws of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers and that the speed of light is constant regardless of the observer's motion. This revolutionary concept shook the foundations of classical mechanics and opened up a whole new way of understanding the universe. The dismissal of the ether theory and the challenges posed by the electrodynamics of moving bodies set the stage for Einstein's special relativity. It's amazing how questioning established ideas can lead to groundbreaking discoveries. In conclusion, the theory of special relativity has revolutionized our understanding of space, time and energy. It challenges our perceptions and leaves us pondering the true nature of the universe. But the journey doesn't end here. Einstein's groundbreaking work paved the way for even more profound discoveries, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible. From the warping of space-time in general relativity to the mysterious phenomena of black holes and gravitational waves, Einstein's theories have opened up a cosmos full of enigmas waiting to be unraveled. Yet even with these advancements, there remain countless questions. What lies beyond the observable universe? How do quantum mechanics and relativity merge into a unified theory? As we continue to explore and question, let us remember that the journey of discovery is never-ending. Each answer leads to new questions, each revelation to new mysteries. What new revelations await us in the vast expanse of the cosmos? Only time will tell. 